What's up guys, welcome to your 18th After Effects tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys some of the properties of your mask and uh, how to animate them. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is drag out any clip into your uh, composition panel. I used a robot clip from last time. And the next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and make a mask. Uh, it doesn't matter what shape it is or nothing like that. So go ahead and make sure your uh, movie clip is selected, the layer and go ahead and make any m kind of mask you want. I'm just going to make a basic star mask for uh, the purpose of this tutorial. And the features of your mask are listed under mask 1. This little arrow that's pointing to the right, if you click it, you can see all of your mask features on this and this is what we're going to be learning today. So again, click that little arrow and it will display all the features. The first one is the mask feather. And what the mask feather does is feather out the pixels on the edges of your mask. And to do that, all you need to do is scrub the values to the left or right. This first value right here is on the x-axis and the second one's on the y-axis. That's uh, left and right and up and down. And again, when you do this, it feathers out the pixels both on the inside of the line and on the outside, on either side. So remember that when you're making a mask. And um, if you want to unlock these two little things, you just have to press that little lock. And now your proportions, you can edit either um, the x-axis feathering and the y-axis feathering independently. But for most of the time, I like to keep them locked. And um, that's pretty much what that does. You just feather out and kind of give your nice mask a fading in and fading out. So let's set that back to zero and forget about that for now. The next thing is mask opacity and this is pretty much well I can't explain it any better than that. It's the opacity of the mask or how transparent it is. Now this is pretty much uh, just like the opacity we covered before in the transform right here opacity. It works in the exact same way but uh, what this the difference is this only applies to your individual mask and this applies to your uh, your whole um, robot layer. So anytime you have just one mask on your layer, then you're going to want to do it with the overall opacity right here. But anytime you have multiple masks, you can edit them individually. And again, the presets for that for zero and it means totally opaque or uh, solid. And zero means totally see-through. So that's mask opacity and that's how you use that and the mask expansion is also the mask contraction what this does is allow you to either take the original shape of your mask and either shrink it by making it a negative value or expand it by making it any value greater than zero so um... that's pretty much the basics of that you don't ha really have to know anything extra about that but those are the three Oh, in this mask path right here, that is just, um, if you double click this, that's just where it is on your thing. Don't touch that ever, because there's easier ways to do that that we learned in last tutorial. So, um, we'll actually be using this whenever we want to move the, uh, mask around the screen, but for now, don't worry about that. So, those are pretty much the basics of your mask properties. Um, they're pretty much self-explanatory. You just need to know how to get to them and how to work with them. So play around with those a little bit. And once you do, you'll be an expert on that. So again, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something. I'll see you next time.